بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا تنزع رحمة إلا من شقي the Prophet ﷺ said that mercy is not uh, removed from anyone except from a shaqi. And Ahabatifillah, this is a hadith in Sahih Tirmidhi, and a shaqi refers to someone who is wretched someone who is wretched so amongst the traits of Ahlul Sunnah is Rahmah the Ahlul Sunnah has mercy for everyone and this is in accordance with the statement of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam La Tanzi'u Rahmah Illa Min Shaqi that mercy is not removed from a person except for the wretched one. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those are from the sifat of Ar-Rahman. Those are from the characteristics of Ar-Rahman, the most merciful. So mercy is something matloob. It is something that we should desire as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And mercy, because Ahlul Sunnah are the most adherent to Islam, then they should exhibit that characteristic of mercy. That's a true sign that someone is from Ahlul Sunnah, is that they have Rahmah as well. That they know or they have correct aqidah about who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how to worship Him properly, subhana. And that they exhibit that characteristic of rahmah, of mercy. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Ahlul Sunnah arham al-nas bi khalq. That Ahlul Sunnah, the people of the Sunnah are the most merciful to the creation. So how is it that we can exhibit mercy to the people? By showing them kindness. By lending a hand when a person is in need. Regardless of whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His mercy supersedes His anger, His wrath. Letting us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the characteristic of mercy and the characteristic of anger. But His wrath, His anger is not like our anger. And His mercy and our mercy is not like His. They're, they don't have tashbi. There's no resemblance there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And in a hadith, Al-Qudsi, I believe it's a hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said lama qad allahu khalq that this hadith is a hadith of Qudsi but it's a hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said لَمَا قَدْ اللَّهُ خَلْقْ كَتَّبَ فِي كِتَابِهِ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ فَهُوَ مَوْضُوعٌ عِنْدُهُ إِنَّ رَحْمَتِي تَغْلِبُ غَدِّبِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed his creation he prescribed for himself لَمَا قَدَّ اللَّهُ خَلْقْ كَتَّبَ فِي كِتَابِهِ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ He prescribed for himself. And this is something that is with him, 
subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, wrote this. Kataba ala nafsihi fi kitabihi. That this is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stored with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this is something that we can only witness in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself and prescribed for himself, Verily, my mercy precedes my wrath. So Ahlul Sunnah strives to gain, to have this characteristic of mercy. And Ahlul Sunnah believes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. And Ahlul Sunnah also realizes that since Ar Rahman has prescribed on himself mercy preceding or, 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 or uh, superseding his anger, his wrath, then we should strive to be superseding or giving precedence or overcoming our anger with mercy. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept my good and forgive my evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم